Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another game tutorial by Rex Fur. Let's start banging this out of the way. All right, so uh, yeah, I haven't been on for a while, and uh, I've been pretty pretty much dead on YouTube <laughs> for like the last um, I I don't even know. I think maybe three weeks, four weeks, a month. <laughs> I really have no idea. But uh, yeah, I've pretty much been asleep on YouTube. Um, as all my subscribers know, if you're a subscriber, you might also know, um, I posted a bulletin why, um, I've be gone, or, uh, I'd be gone, <laughs> not I've been gone, but, uh, yeah, why I'd be gone for a while, and, uh, also, I think in one of my last videos I said I was gonna be, um, kinda gone for a while, but yeah, um, anyway, I've been pretty busy, um, working on a lot of stuff, my series, like my Ninja Cat or Heroes Shadow, whatever, that series and thing, that's been taking up a lot of time, and, uh, you know, of course, all my other projects and things I have to do in my life. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Um, but I'm not going to bore you guys with, you know, just all what I've been doing and stuff, um, because I, I just want to try to make this a short tutorial, and, uh, yeah. But, I mean, knowing me and my videos and tutorials or whatever, who knows if that's going to happen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, before I do this tutorial, I just want to let everyone know, while I was um, away uh, from YouTube, a lot of people, and I don't know if you're one of them, but uh, if you are, and, y like, basically everyone who messaged me while I was away, um, like, with tutorials and stuff, here's the thing. Well, I, don't, I have no idea why this happens either, but um, sometimes on YouTube... Like, when I receive a message or a comment or whatever, um, when I click on it, after I'm done reading it, you know, I just click on it, um, you know, read it, see what it has to say or whatever, and I accept it or just click off somewhere, it will disappear on me, and I really have no idea why, and I can't go back to it, I can't navigate to it, um, just really, really annoying. So, yeah, um, so anyway, if you guys... Or if you are someone who messaged me with a tutorial, uh, by the way, this is a request tutorial as well. But uh, yeah, if you're someone that messaged me um, with a or, well, yeah with like a tutorial request, um, please repost it on my channel comments because those don't go away and they're a little bit more secure than the comments and messaging system. So just be aware that I might not get to your tutorial or be have a chance to make your tutorial or like r fulfill your request if you comment or message me with the tutorial. So the channel comments though are definitely a lot better. Um, please use those and uh, yeah. So anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get this tutorial underway. Alright and you'll notice that I have already everything you know kind of made out and stuff for this tutorial and the reason for that is again I want to make this a pretty short tutorial like relatively short um, but I mean you know once again who knows if that's gonna happen but uh, yeah. That's, that's why I have everything pre-made. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and go through the list of objects slash sprites that I have going on here. And uh, just show you guys what they're made of and how they all operate and everything. And basically how to do this tutorial. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to need for this tutorial is obviously you're going to need a... Mm, oh, excuse me. Uh, my throat was kind of weird right there. But, uh, yeah, anyway, you're going to need a player sprite, all right, as well as a player object. And what I did for my player sprite here is I just drew a simple, you know, 32 by 32 square and colored him in and uh, just added some little features like some eyes and a mouth here. All right, and that's what I did for that. And the next thing I did was created a player death sprite. All right, so basically when the player is dead from losing all of his health, all right, so basically I did the same thing, I just copied and pasted, or well copied rather, this sprite and uh, just changed it up a little bit. As you can see the colors and the eyes and the mouth are all a little bit different. Alright? Okay. And the next thing you're going to need is a sprite called Health Points SPR. Alright? Now, well, underscore health, uh, yeah, SPR, excuse me. Alright, and what you're going to need to do for this is this isn't too complicated. Um, it might look at um, at first, but I'll go ahead and explain what all is going on here. All right. So, firstly, 
I went ahead and created a new sprite, and I just did the width, 128 pixels, by 32 pixels, all right? And you could do whatever you want. Um, it doesn't matter. I just wanted mine to be a relatively big health bar, um, you know, just something you can easily see and, uh, you know. All right, so what I did was I drew, th whoa, all right, I drew three little blocks, and by the way, you can do more than three blocks. Um, you're just going to have to switch up some of the codes that are going to be used in this tutorial. And also, the codes that are going to be used in this tutorial will be um, posted in the description box if YouTube um, lets me. For some reason, I've had um, YouTube take off the codes or won't allow the codes in the past. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get those codes up there. Alright, so anyway, basically what I did was I drew a gigantic block thing with three little blank blocks signaling the empty health bars, okay? And yours can be something completely different, like, um... Uh, I don't know, maybe you can draw three circles here. And I know these are the most horrible circles that you've ever seen, but, you know, whatever, just doing something quick. So, yeah, you could do, like, three circles or something, and, uh, you know, and so on and so on. So, basically, what you want to basically have here is... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and exit that out really quick. All right, there we go. So, you want to have their first sprite have all three basically health images or whatever um, like the health bars and you want to have all the bars blank all three of them blank so like when you're out of life like completely out of life okay and you just want to go and copy that and paste it okay and I'll delete that one and on the second sprite you just want to fill in one of those bars signaling that you only have one health left and so on and so on until your health bar is completely full alright so zero health um, and all the way to full health all right, and that's what you want to have for that. All right, the next thing you want to have, and actually the last thing that you want to have or need, whatever, um, is an enemy of some sort. And for this, I just use a spike stick. Um, it's just a really simple sprite that I made. Um, just, you know, something for your player to be able to get hurt by and his health to be able to get affected by. All right, so as you can see, I just have a little stick here with spikes on the side and around and everything. All right. All right, now after that, you want to go ahead and make all of your objects. So basically, you just want to make all those sprites into objects. And if you already have a player, then you don't need to, obviously, you don't need to create another one, okay? But I already did because, you know, this is what I need for the tutorial. All right, and so you just want to go ahead to the blue ball, obviously, create an object, and just uh, choose the sprites for all those objects. All right, so I'll go through the objects um, in the order they're shown. All right, starting off with the OBJ underscore he um, health underscore controller. All right, so for the OBJ underscore health underscore controller, and by the way, um, it would be a good idea to name it um, basically exactly how mine is, um, just because the tutorial, the code in the tutorial is using these names, all right? And once you get this down, you can go ahead and rename everything, but um, if you're just doing this tutorial like just now, I recommend you name this uh, this object, obj underscore health underscore controller, all right? And basically these are controller objects, so we're not going to need any sprites, okay? All you want to do is go add event, create, and go down to the control tab over here, click and drag over a execute code, and in that, you just want to go global.hp equals 3. All right, and now we are setting our global health in our game. All right, and we just want to check mark that, uh, signaling that we are done with that code. All right, then we want to go ahead and go add event, draw, and same thing, click and drag over the execute code. All right, and in this, um, I know this is a long code, and I will hopefully get it down in the description box, so yeah. Anyway, I'll just say it, just you know, just in case. <laughs> All right. So it is draw underscore sprite parenthesis health points at underscore spr, and that's our sprite that we created earlier. A and let's see, just a quick note here: um, the health points spr, you should keep it like basically when you're creating it, you should name it this as well um, for this tutorial. Just you know, if you're beginning stuff, as I said, you can rename everything or rename everything later. All right, but yeah, the health points SPR or underscore SPR with a capital H. All right, and hit OK. Okay, let's go back into that code. All right, so health points underscore SPR, um, comma global dot HP, comma 
view underscore x view plus 10 comma view underscore y view plus 5 and closing parenthesis. All right, and that's all for that code. All right, so we hit OK. And the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and create an object for our enemy sprite. All right, and so I just named this OBJ enemy and chose a sprite for it, okay? And if you already have an enemy in your game, um, it should be okay because for the tutorial, I don't have any, as you can see, any events or actions. So, um, and of course, I don't have any actions because you need an event. But, uh, yeah, so if you have an enemy with actions and events and everything already, um, it should be perfectly fine. All right, hit okay. So the next thing you want to do is obviously create a sprite for your player, all right? So I'm just going to open this up here. And what you want to do first is go add event, create, and go to the control tab, click and drag over execute code. And in that, we're just going to set a quick global variable, all right, which is going to be hurt equals zero. So our variable name is hurt, and so far it equals zero, which is basically false in coding language, all right, or well, GML. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to go add event, alarm, and alarm zero. All right, and I know I'm doing this a little out of order, but you'll see why we do alarm zero in the later um, events. All right, so same thing. Go to the control, click and drag over and execute code. All right, and again, we just want to go hurt equals zero, exactly the same as the first, um, and we'll see why we're doing this later. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is we want to go add event and step, just regular step, not step begin or anything, just regular step. And same thing, go to the control tab, click and drag over a, and execute code. And this code gets a little more complicated, but don't worry, I'll break it down for you. All right, so basically, if hurt equals one, and start a block there, all right, basically, what's that, what that's saying is, if our variable hurt is one or true, then whatever is in this start a block and end block here is going to happen, all right? So image alpha, or image underscore alpha rather, sorry, equals 0 0.5 and a uh, semicolon, I believe. All right, so basically what's saying, uh, what this is saying is if our variable hurt is true, or activate or whatever, then our player will turn transparent. That's what image alpha means, all right? And well, half transparent, whatever. So yeah, and then if that, basically, like other than that, um, our transparency will equal one, and global, yeah, like that, sorry. Oh, my throat is just acting really weird today. All right, but then after that, uh, I want to put an end block, and if global, eight, uh, <coughs> excuse me, man, my throat is just acting really weird right now. I have no idea why. But if global.hp is um, smaller than, um, wow, I hope I said that right. <laughs> Those always get me confused. Okay, but smaller than one, um, instance change to the OG, uh, obj underscore player um, underscore death comma one and a parenthesis closing parenthesis and a semicolon. So if our health, um, our global HP is yeah okay it's lower than one so basically if it's zero if we don't have any more health left then our player is going to change into our death or OBJ player death uh, object. All right and hit okay. And sorry for stumbling on that code a lot. Uh, my throat is just acting up a lot, like, you know, last couple seconds. I really don't know why. But anyway, continuing on, this, uh, continuing on with this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and go add event, collision with our enemy. Okay, and in that, we just want to do the same thing, control and execute code. All right, and this code is if, um, opening parenthesis, hurt equals zero, and closing parenthesis, um, start a block, um, global HP minus equals one. Okay, and as you can see, I just did that, like, really quick over here. Um, I don't know if I'll keep that in the code or not, but I just keep it there. Um, I don't know, just for an example, because I actually gave this example to one of my friends. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so anyway, basically, if our variable hurt, um, is false, then, uh, we're going to go ahead and get one health taken away from our health bar and hurt will equal one again all right and then alarm zero uh, will be set off okay and the next thing we're going to uh, go ahead and do is go add event and keyboard left 
And you actually don't need to do this if you already have a player or whatever. I just did this for the purpose of the tutorial. Um, basically, this is just some really quick, uh, really good, easy moving. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go through this just really quick. All right, so um, on the keyboard left, we're going to go ahead and go in the control tab still. Click and drag uh, over a check empty. All right, and in that, we're just going to go ahead and for X, we're going to type the... Um, uh, numbers negative four. Well, obviously the negative isn't a number, but negative four. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And the Y, just keep a zero. And objects only solid and relative. Make sure to check it. All right. And the next thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and do, is go to the Move tab, click and drag over a jump to position. All right. And in that, we're going to do basically the same thing. Um, X is negative four, Y is zero, and relative is checked. All right, and after that, we're going to go ahead and go on our keyboard left event, right click, and duplicate event. All right, and um, when you do that, you're going to get this box. Just go keyboard and right. All right, all right, and basically, all you need to do for this is just go ahead and go into each action and take away the minus. So it's positive four now. Uh, y equals zero, relatives check, same thing for the jump to position. X is positive four, Y is zero, and uh, relative is checked. All right, and those are actually pretty much all we need to do. There's just a player uh, death left and the room, and we'll be done. All right, so what we're going to do is obviously go and create one more object and name this obj underscore player underscore death, all right? And the first thing we're going to do is go add event, create, and little note before we get started on this, um, there's a lot of ways you could do this and a lot of different things you could do. This is just one simple thing that I really uh, just kind of thought of. You can use gravity too in this, um, but I just, for the purpose of this tutorial and the just time of it or whatever, um, I just did it like this, how I did. But you could do whatever you want in this. All right, so what we're going to do is go add event, create, and in the move tab, we're going to click and drag over a move fixed. All right, and in that, we're going to just choose the up arrow, and at a speed of 5. You could change it to whatever you want, but I'm just going to keep it 5 for now. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the main 1 tab now, or excuse me, main 2, and click and drag over the first action, which is set alarm. And in that, we're going to go n for the number of steps, we're going to type out 15, and um, in alarm number, uh, we're going to choose alarm 0. All right, so this is basically saying um, after, like, 15 steps, which is, like, I think it's... Um, uh, I forget how I forget how much time it is in the game maker, uh, but I'm sure you can find it probably like find it on Google and everything. But uh, anyway, basically, it's saying after the 15 like steps, then uh, alarm zero is going to be activated. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and add event alarm zero. So when our alarm zero is activated, alarm zero here. Um, whatever is in alarm zero, whatever actions um, are going to happen. So basically after um, 15 steps of basically just our player dead guy or whatever uh, moving up in the air. Um, it's going to switch over to alarm zero and whatever's in alarm zero is going to happen. Okay, so we're just going to go to the move tab yet again. Click and drag over a uh, move fixed. And in that we're going to choose the down arrow with a speed of 5. Pretty much like the last one except for different arrow or different direction rather. And we're going to hit OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go add event other outside room okay so basically what we're gonna what's gonna happen is when the player death or whatever is gonna go up um, or when he is going up rather for 15 steps or uh, after 15 steps he's going to go ahead and activate the alarm zero and so he's gonna go down and when he's outside of the room that we're gonna go and create um, it's going to basically do whatever is in here which I have a restart the game and you can actually find that in the main two tab so basically, in the outside of room action or er, event, we're going to go ahead and click and drag over the uh, restart game action. Okay, and obviously you can replace that with a restart room or revert to last like save thing or whatever you want to do. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much just what I did for this. All right, so we're just going to hit OK, and finally we're going to go ahead and create our room up here. So just go ahead, and it's by the big blue ball for the create object, and it's called create room. And just go ahead and click it. And I'm going to delete that, actually, because I already have one. And in the room here, you just want to uh, click over here in this blank space that's on the objects tab, and choose your enemy object, and just place it somewhere randomly. 
And then you want to go ahead and click it again, choose your player, and put it, um, basically put it somewhere so it's like when it moves left and right or whatever, you can go, you're like, um, basically you're going to hit your enemy and take away a life, okay? And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and put our OBJ health controller just randomly in the room, all right? And as you can see, I already have it up here in the upper left corner. Okay, and finally, we're just going to go ahead and run our game, and I'm going to go ahead and switch to a different tab or whichever window here, sorry. So I will see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, well, we are back with our finished uh, product or finished game here, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this. All right, so um, where is my mouse? Ah, there it is. Okay, so anyway... Um, I really failed at creating a short tutorial, <laughs> as I always do. Um, I'm sorry if I took too long for you, um, but I really just kind of like to explain things in depth, and, uh, you know, I'm sorry this was such a long tutorial, but whatever, what can you do? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and ram into this um, spike enemy guy here, and as you can see, I turn transparent, and one of my little... Um, uh, little health bars or whatever you want to call it up there gets taken away and you'll notice I turn transparent um, for just a basically a second there and I didn't get hurt and let me go ahead and do it again if you didn't notice that alright as you can see I turn transparent and I could actually walk in front of my enemy and around my enemy for a little bit um, before basically before the next health got taken away and that's one of those cool little features um, when I we we're back doing the code. Um, the uh, image, um, oh my gosh, what was it? The um, uh, I can't remember the name right now. But anyway, um, yeah, that was back in the step code, I believe. And so, yeah, that was a pretty cool feature, I thought. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and die here and see what happens. All right, there we go. We turn to our little player death animation. And we start over once we end the or uh, fall out of the room. All right, so yeah, that's how to do Zelda-like health in Game Maker. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. There will be more on the way, although I'm not sure how soon uh, because I am pretty busy. Um, but yeah, hopefully another one will be coming out pretty soon. Hopefully, but uh, yeah, um, free, I guess feel free to comment and subscribe for more. Uh, basically. Um, for more updates on videos and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope this tutorial worked out for you. And, uh, yeah, once more, if you guys want to request a tutorial, I would recommend the channel comments, basically leaving just a channel comment saying what you want. And uh, I will make sure to try to get to that. So, yeah, until next time, this has been Rexford with another Game Make tutorial. And I will see you later.